the fuck are you doing here? Oh, oh yeah. Pick up video. Okay, okay, just give me a second. Uh, play the intro. Whoosh. Whoosh. Where's the fucking intro? Whoosh. you are. Pick up video episode 5. I don't know why I number this. I don't number my other episodes, but fuck it. Pick up video episode number 5. But yeah, you might have seen few of my games already on my unboxing or review videos. Or I hope you have. Because <laughs> if you ain't watching those, who is? But yeah, I'm gonna include those two, cause it's been a slow two months. I'm broke! Well, I'm not totally broke, I'm actually saving for a new computer, so I can do better... ...things here, you know, better... ...this... ...whatever... ...effect I'm putting here, but I bet it's cool, and it's gonna be cooler with new computers, so... But yeah, let's start this video. So, first up we have Just Cause 4. Rico Rodriguez is back with extreme weather conditions. But don't get too excited, cause apart from the tornado, they pretty much suck ass. And you don't even get to play with them that much. I mean, if you're like me, then during your playtime you'll probably be playing with yourself more than with those weather effects. But, if you want to know more about the game, then watch my review. That's right, I made a review. And it features such classic moments as my cat shooting rockets out of his ass, so... Definitely worth the watch. If you haven't seen it, if you have seen it, watch it again. I need the view time, so... So next up, I have Resident Evil 2. Now I'm currently playing this game and uh, I'm, I have to say I'm hating every fucking minute I'm playing it. I mean, the game's good and I'm kind of hoping I can get a review out, but I really don't want to play this anymore. Uh, me and horror games, it's just, I mean, who the fuck plays games like this? It's fucking masochists. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Don't do that shit! I mean, look, you, you get shot if you do that, fuck's sakes! Hey, wait a minute. Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, it's... Gary? You're still alive? Oh, that's right, I just shot you, so, uh, yep, you're pretty dead. Well, that's too bad. People really seem to like Gary, but, well, I fucking hated him. He was stealing my thunder, <laughs> and nobody outdoes me on my show, so, <laughs> fuck you, Gary. <laughs> So let's move on, without Gary. Now next up, I have Asterix and Obelix XXL2. Now I did my unboxing of this already, since I had the collector's edition. So if you want to check it out, it's on my channel, and you do want to check it out. I mean, who wouldn't want to check it out? It's so cool. But yeah, anyway, I thought about making a review out of this game, but I had Just Cause 4 and Toki at the same time, so... There just wasn't time, but I do like Asterix and Obelix, I mean, it was one of my favorite comic books when I was a kid. I mean, who doesn't like a small girl village that has magic potion that makes them invincible so they can kick Roman's ass? 
But remember kids, in real life there's no magic potion that makes you feel strong and invincible. So if you want to be those things, you'll just have to do what the rest of us do. And instead of magic potion, drink whiskey. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. Now I pretty much had to get this game because PlayStation 4 really doesn't have too many games that support flight sticks. So this was one of the few. So I really had no other choice. Now this game was on the challenging side though, so I actually had to play this game through sober. Which was fucking awful. And you're in luck my friends. I just made my review out of this game so you can see if I recommend this game. In my review, huh, huh, huh? See, that's how I get more views. <laughs> Clever. <sighs> Next, I have Toki remastered for the Nintendo Switch, and I made my first Nintendo Switch review out of this game. Now, I really like this game, but it's pretty expensive considering how short it is. I mean, the game's as short as... Uh, uh, I don't know... Um, short... Uh, penis? Short, short as short penis? I mean, I'm no poet, so uh, words don't just pour out of my ass crack. Like that. But you know what does pour out from my ass crack? Fart noises. Flashback. 25th anniversary collector's edition for Nintendo Switch. Old classic. Funny story. I went to buy kitty litter for my little fur balls and I came back with this game. Well, it sounded funnier in my head. You know, that actually happens a lot to me. I mean, last time I went to buy Kitty Litter, I also came back with new games. But hey, I don't even know what this collector's edition includes, so... You wanna have a little unboxing here? I'm sure you do, and I don't even care if you said no, cause I can't hear you, and this gets me more view time. So, I win. So, screw you! Okay, let's just get this goddamn wrapping off. Oh, that's a tight... Why did I cut my nails? Do I... Do I have anything sharp here? Pencil! I'm gonna throw on my new box. Fuck. Ha! <laughs> Made a hole. Here we go. Fuck off. Here we have, and let's just see how this sucker opens. Ooh, here, from the top. Oh, you're a tight little boy, aren't you? I mean, game. Forget that, I should probably edit that out. But don't break. Damn, I have such sweaty hands. Can't fucking... Oh, there we go, there we go. Ooh, nice. Now here we have Flashback, the game, and then we have, oh, would you look at that, instruction booklet, don't have those too many times these days, so that's awesome, I fucking love instruction booklets, and then we have an SNES cassette, so this is cool. And there's some little info behind here. You're Conrad B. Hart, blah blah blah, find your way to earth, blah blah blah, with memory, blah blah blah, plans. Did you know Conrad B. Hart's design has, has been inspired by certain Marty McFly? No, I didn't, so now I know. But wait, this should open. Come on. Oh, and it does. And you can fit the game here. And here's a limited run collector's card. 
Oh, this is cool. It's metallic. And I'm number 18,122 out of 40,000. So yeah, not really that special number, but fuck it. At least I have it. Oh, there seems to be a little problem with this SNES cassette uh, cover for the game. Here's the manual. Really doesn't fit. What the fuck? Well, that sucks balls. Wonder if the manual even... Okay, it could fit in here, but it's a really tight fit. Oh, and this is made by Mick. Microids. Microids. Same guys who made that Toki game I just showed. Well, they make short games and way too short covers for goddamn instruction booklets. So, yeah, that was this unboxing. Let's move on with the pickups video. Oh, look who decided to show up. It's Ricky, my cat. And, speaking of cats, my next game is for PlayStation 2, and it doesn't have anything to do with cats. This next game is actually my only Christmas gift game. Yeah, one friend bought me a game. One, one friend knows that I collect games. Others can go, uh, suck my nuts. Yeah, he found it cheap on flea market, so why the hell not? And it has some boobies on the cover, so... <laughs> Would you look at those boobs? Oh, I'm gonna bury my face in those and go... I'm down with that. I love boobies. <laughs> Stay there. Oh, look at my little cat. So we're down to my last game, which is for Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis. And it was actually recommended to me by Retro Stitch Gaming. Or not actually recommended, but... He saw my retro recommendation video for Chaos Engine and he said that that game reminded him of this game a lot. So I went ahead and bought this one and it's called Mercs, where you're a merc, a professional mercenary, which is pretty unimaginative name, merc, and you're a mercenary? I mean... But hey, we can all come up with golden names like Gary Banana, can we? But hey, the main thing is the game looks fun and hopefully it actually is fun cause otherwise Retro Stitch Gaming, you owe me 12 bucks and I'm following you on Twitter and I know where your YouTube channel is, so... So, that was this pickups video, and I hope you enjoyed this enough to watch this whole damn thing through, cause I need view time. But you all know the ending here, you know, click subscribe, click like, click the bell, click the comments, click yourselves the fuck out of here, and click yourselves back when I upload more crap. But for now, it's goodbye! And Gary is not coming back. Or is he? No, he's not coming back. Or is he? So yeah, Gary could come back. Or maybe not. But you can come. As many times as you want. Uh, no, no, that sounded wrong. I, I, I meant click the other videos. Click, click them now. Now.